Hey everybody, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video on Logic and Sonobus together, uh, specifically for doing multi-channel output. Now, what I did is I downloaded the trial version of Logic, uh, and I'm going to try it with the new beta version of Sonobus. Now, what they did with this beta version of Sonobus is they opened it up to use it as a software instrument. Um, this is the only way that you can really get a multi-channel output out of one plugin. Uh, so I'm going to go over how to do all the routing you need to do for that, as well as input and output. Uh, so if you like the video, just subscribe to my channel, click like, give me some comments. I'm not super experienced with Logic, so if anyone else has any better ways to do this, please leave those comments below. So let's get started with the software instrument. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is just get rid of some of this other stuff it added, like these extra buses. Um, let's just remove those. And then we're going to also pull up the mixing view uh, and get rid of these reverbs and things it added. Now, by default, it puts a piano on here, so we're just going to change that over to Sonobus Multi-Output Stereo. Let me get connected to my remote users. I'm just going to have them muted by default so they don't come in at full blast. Okay, let's just go through each of these channels and get them mixed in. So let's unmute them. Okay, got some drums. We got a vocal. Oh. Okay, so now I have a kind of a rough mix just going to the stereo out. So one of the new features in this new version of Sonobus is the ability to route each of these channels to their own outputs. So on the far right, you'll see this assignment. For now, everything's just going out of the mix out one and two. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually just assign these their own outputs. So we're gonna use the drums on aux one and two, and then the vocal is going to be aux two. Guitar is just going to be aux three. I'm going to use all the stereo outs for now. So eight, nine, ten, and then eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's five different stereo outputs I'm going to be using out of the plugin. So when you go back over to Logic here to the mixing view. Uh, if I do unmute this, it's gonna be still the same thing you heard before. Okay, so that's all the instruments there. Now this is a little confusing at first for me. I, I didn't know how to get these actual other outputs to work until I started clicking this little plus sign next to the fader. So right there, I have a, the drums on their own. Vocal, guitar, other guitar, bass. Okay. All right, so now that I have those out, I'm just going to have these uh, guitars panned to the center inside of Sonobus. That way they're just mono inside of the stereo set. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to route these plug-in aux outs to new audio channels for recording. So I'm just going to create a new audio channel for each of these instruments. So let's start with the drums and let's just do them in the order that they're in inside of Sonobus. So we're going to do vocal and then guitar two and then guitar one. Yeah, I suggest that you do it in the order that they're in Sonobus just so it's a little bit easier to understand and they're in the same order. So now that you have these audio channels, we need to assign their inputs to um, the output of these other aux channels. To do that, we're going to use buses. So on the drums, let's just do uh, an input of bus one. 
and just do the same thing two all the way down three four five so now that you have these inputs set up for buses uh, go back over to these plug-in auxes and set the output now to these buses so one two three four and five okay so now to be able to hear that let's just uh unmute the drums there and then we need to record enable the drums over here and then input monitor okay and see right now you're hearing them as mono so we're going to actually want to change this now that should be a stereo there you go now for everything else i'm just going to keep a mono so it's All right, so now we can actually set it to record up here. If we hit uh, record, it should actually start recording in. Okay. Okay, so now we should be able to play this back. Yep. Okay, so that all worked well. So the last thing I didn't go over was how now you can actually send your own microphone over back to the remote session. So let's set up a new audio track for our talkback mic, and that's assigned to my vocal channel on my interface, which is just input one. And um, since we're using a an instrument plugin now for Sonobus, there isn't a direct audio input into the channel like there was on the effects plugin. So to work around that, there's actually a new um, sidechain input. So what we can do is actually route our talkback mic using a, I'm just going to use a send. Let's just assign the send output to bus 10, just so I'm not confused. And then let's turn that up. And let's just get rid of this master for now. So now in uh, Sonobus, I can actually choose that side chain as 10 bus 10 so let's keep our input mixer open which is also a new feature of the beta version and um, let's just record enable and monitor that so you will see this in sonobus now i'm just going to mute that because it's looping back um, yeah so now when i hit record it's going to get all the different remote people and myself recorded into different tracks so um, I'm not exactly a Logic Pro expert, so uh, there might be other ways that you can do this to simplify it, but this is just the way that I've found that works. Um, if you have any other suggestions for me, you can just put them in the comments. Maybe that can help other people that are Logic users. Um, yeah, and I hope that works for you, and let me know how it goes. Thanks. Good luck.